That was the idea. <laughs> you ready, sir? Oh, God, go on. Off you go. I should say this is the uh, first PK I've ever given, and before today I've never seen one before, so here goes. Anyway, I'm Tim Brody from the University of Southampton, and I'd like to present some work we've been doing with SharePoint. So I'm going to have a lot of pauses while I think, oh, was that 20 seconds? Anyway. <laughs> so what is SharePoint, specifically Microsoft SharePoint? In a sentence, it's team collaboration internet software. By that I mean a project team can share information through web pages, documents, wikis, blogs, calendars, that kind of thing. So, one of the questions we want to ask in this project, is SharePoint already a repository? Well, users can upload and publish files. You can have an editor which can check those files and uh, stop them being made public if they're not right yet. Plus, it has flexible method editor. You can add extra fields to it um, and uh, add new types. But what about the web interface for SharePoint? Uh, well, it's kind of like the Windows UI rebuilt inside a web page. So it looks much like you would see if you're familiar with Office. You get dialog boxes and drop down boxes, uh, drop down menus. But I'd argue it's not so great for web users. So, just to highlight again, the goals of the project. Can SharePoint be used as a repository? Um, but in addition to that, how do we share data between SharePoint and other repositories, and how do we aggregate data from SharePoint instances with other sources of metadata? So, a bit of demo here. Uh, so this is a very vanilla SharePoint, um, and the particular thing of interest on here is on the left-hand side, the shared documents to which I've uploaded a couple of files to that, and it's shared documents that I'm interested in. Right, well, time in there. So, what does a shared documents list look like? Um, so this is showing the two files that are in there. And of particular interest to me is what's called the display form and the edit form. The display form is a thing that appears when you select an individual item and uh, want to see the details for that particular one. So here I am editing that form through the SharePoint GUI. And what I've written is a, a sword client web part in SharePoint terminology. Uh, and in particular on this, the bottom right, I've got an endpoint that I want to send this data to. That's the configuration for the web part. And over here, so I'm now back in my shared documents. This is kind of how a user would see this thing. And I've selected the particular item I'm interested in. And I'm going to click the View Properties button on that. Can you kind of stretch words out until you get to the next slide? <laughs> so. Uh, by default, this is what you see in SharePoint. A little dialog box will come up, and at the bottom of that, you can see what's in that item. So it's the file I've uploaded, plus I've added a title field, I've filled in the title for the item. And you can see my sword little widget there, which I've entered a username and password for the repository I want to send it to. I click Submit, um, a few things spin, and hopefully you come back with a URL of where we've sent this item to. Um, obviously, if it failed, it would come back with an error message saying wrong login or something like that. And then if we click that URL, we go over to a completely different system, in this case ePrint, where I've submitted my item to using Sword. So I've got my file that I've uploaded, plus my little bit of metadata on this. Um, this is a really, really blank um, record, which uh, I'll go into in a moment. So, what's the problem with this? Well, it needs to be a heck of a lot richer in metadata. All I'm doing at the moment is shifting over the title. And the troubles I've got with that is I don't know what data the SharePoint instance will have. Plus, it's a little unsure at the moment what data you can send across using the sword, depending on the, the system you're sending to. So, what are the outcomes I'm trying to build out of this project? I want a sword client in SharePoint, so I can send it over to another system. A sword server in SharePoint, so I can send stuff into the SharePoint. A PMH <laughs> server, so I can harvest metadata out of SharePoint. And to add richer metadata into the SharePoint system for research articles. Um, but 
I suspect this is not going to be quite click and play, you know, classic, you know, click install and your application is there. The SharePoint administrator is going to do some, have to do some work to uh, add their metadata and say how that metadata maps into the system that you're sending it to. And lastly, on 16, haha, um, that's the URL of where I'm putting all this stuff. Um, it will all be open access. And lastly, I also need to say a big thank you to Microsoft Research who have funded this work. I think you should make you stand there for another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's implied is when you